Hey guys, so this is going to be a follow-on tutorial, and my last tutorial was about actually pushing objects with physics, but this time it's actually adding a sound effect to these physics objects, so when they hit the floor, and, um, you know, to get a sort of sense of realism. So, for my last tutorial, I am going to delete these objects. And if you didn't see that, watch the last tutorial if you want to. But I'll quickly go through what I've got. So I've got my scene with my first person control. I've got a barrel and it's got a mesh collider. It's been ticked as convex so it doesn't fall through the uh, floor. I've got a rigid body with use gravity on. And that's pretty much that for now. We just want to create an actual script which will detect how much the object is moving. And then we'll be able to say you know play the sound effect upon the velocity of the item I mean this can be done in a lot of different ways you can use the um, velocity to put different sound effects depending on if the velocity or the the speed at which it's traveling toward the ground is high you could have louder sound effects you know you could have an ex explosion instead of a uh, just a hit you know you can have a lot of different things but I'm just going to show you the basis of getting something working and you can modify it as you want so what we'll do is we'll create a script called impact effect you can call your script whatever you want you can open up that in Mono Develop. once we've done that I'll delete these two functions and I'll start by saying variable impact colon audio clip and put a semicolon at the end and I'll say function on collision enter open brackets hit colon collision oh, collision close brackets open up my curly brackets and I'll say if hit dot relative velocity dot magnitude is greater than or equal to 5 then I will close my brackets and I will say under there with the two curly brackets audio dot play one shot open brackets impact and then add a semicolon so what that's going to do is that when the actual object hits um, a collider on the floor so it's going to be that mesh collider that's on my floor plane then if its velocity is more than five it will play the sound effect now that's all well and good seeing as though my object is if I go back into the scene and you see my object here it's floating and if I add this I'll add it to this and then I will go to my sounds and find my barrel sound effect that I create uh, that I um, got unedited I'll add a component and add audio source and then when we play it <laughs> you, you heard that sound effect so when it hit the floor you heard the sound now the problem is here is you heard that sound but what you want to be able to do is when you push it over you actually want to hear the sound again so what we need to do is we need to just copy this function again and then I'll paste it in here and then what I'm going to do is actually change this to on collider stay so it works even when we're still inside the collider but the thing is you need to experiment with this with yourself it works for me when I put the magnitude as 3.5 because if I put it to you know if I put this to 1 and this to 1 then they would always do it even when I've put a small force on the barrel you don't want it to as soon as you hit it you only want it when it's had such a force that it hits the floor with speed not as soon as you hit it so if I now play my game notice the falls, you hear the sound effect and then I'll go over to it and you'll notice that only when I push it to the ground did you actually hear anything so really that's just the basis of any physics object if it hits a co the collider on the floor then you know you will play you'll play a sound effect dependent you might need to change those values up but as you can see I've clicked on my floor I've got a mesh collider you might need to mess with those values and get something that works for you but there you go really simple really easy thanks for watching and if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers